There are hundreds of thousands of these in homes up and down the country. The remote control for a Sky satellite box. They cost around £20 and you can even get them in the colours of your favourite football team. Use this one though and the big match could be elusive. It's a fake and fake Sky remotes are big business. It's the early hours of the morning. Trading Standards investigator Chris Jones is leading an operation to investigate a multi-million pound business thought to be making huge profits from the sale of fake Sky remote controls. There are substandard fakes made in China that either don't work or they work only a short distance from the uh, television and uh, invariably pack up very early on. It's thought the sellers of the fakes have based their operation on a farm. Fingers crossed, when we get there, we can go straight into the unit and uh, basically, if they're not there, we'll force an entry. When the team arrives, Chris is straight in to identify himself. How are you, things? Are you employed here or, you, or is it your, your unit? We've got a warrant to search the premises for trading standards Hi. and the police, OK? Where's the owner? Is he about? Not yet, no. But then Chris spots one of the company bosses driving up. Here comes the boss now. We've done a runner. Let's go, boys. Let's go. It looks as though the boss has also spotted the officers. This is car. That's your car. The suspect car came in, saw us at speed. He turned off down the lane and has uh, gone out of sight. So police are going in pursuit of the, uh, the vehicle and try and stop him now. Whilst the police give chase, another suspect has arrived back at the address. We've got a search warrant for your premises. Would you like to come and see what we're going to do? We're looking for Sky products in your premises. The police are here with us. We're we'll preparing to preach to the priest. We're going to search your premises now. Yeah. And any items that Sky say uh, shouldn't be there, they're counterfeit or fake, we will seize those items. OK. OK? Yeah. Chris heads inside to look for fakes. Meanwhile, the police have managed to catch up with the suspect's getaway car. The car's parked down there in the ditch. And basically, uh, he's run off. We've got a description of him. But he's gone off and he can go a number of ways. The suspect is nowhere in sight, and the officers are keen to have a look inside his car. I mean, he hasn't had much time to actually store anything, but we need to make sure. Uh, we'll see plenty of cash and sat -nav. might be related to, to the offences. Uh, they've done search section one of pace, because he's made off from us. Back inside the storage facility, Chris has found the fake Sky remotes they're looking for, and there's a lot of them. Much larger than we thought. In each bin, they're a different type of uh, remote control. Uh, they're, they're ready to go. They even got the, um, the tracker on them. All those boxes are full of them. The boxes at the top are full of them. The boxes behind you and down. Under this one roof, there are hundreds of boxes containing thousands of fake Sky remote controls. We found a substantial amount of fake uh, Sky remote controls. They look exactly like a Sky, even down to the Sky logo on them and the Sky um, manual or leaflet on how to program them into your Sky box. It's a significant find today. They might not be much to look at, but these fake remote controls are making the suspects huge profits. It's got a massive turnover, over half a million pounds. There's over 30,000 pounds of stock that we are going to seize. But it's not just fake remote controls that trading standards and the police have discovered. What they're concerned about, they think that the products in the box there, the little things that go on the satellites, they are fake. This is an LNB. It's the receiving device on a satellite dish. You can't watch satellite TV without one of these. You open it up, that has the sky and it has the barcode on it as well. The sky investigators today say they have not seen this product, so it's a case of finding where it's come from. Is it something that's manufactured as a fake? It's a huge job for the team to seize all of the fake products they found here today. I think it's going to be hours and hours. Hardly with a dent in this, you know. It's just as well they've brought a big truck. That's the van, it's full. That's the van we have to hire, and I bet you fill that and another one. And there's more good news about the young suspect who ran away. The boy that ran away 
earlier has handed himself in and apologised to the police. He just panicked, he says, because he saw us standing there and suspected something was going on. So the police have taken his word and, and have warned him of his future conduct. It's a good day's work for trading standards with a vast quantity of fake remote controls now off the market. Cleaned it out. A substantial amount of fake uh, remote controls have been recovered. Potentially fake uh, receiver part of the satellite television system. At least £30,000 worth of stock is gone. They're making substantial money from this sort of trade. The consumer can guarantee you they won't be buying fake products in the future from this particular source. No, these fake Sky Remotes won't be pushing anyone's buttons, but there are others out there. And they can cause you more problems than you might think. James McAvoy from Milton Keynes specialises in satellite television installations and repairs. He comes across many remote controls that work, and quite a few that don't. I've been coming across Sky Remote Control's fake ones anyway for quite a long time now, a good few years. Uh, the first ones that were coming out they were quite obvious to see. It was quite, you know, the buttons were not as uh, fluid and a usability. And they were quite obvious when you spotted them, but now they are getting better. Modern fakes might look better on the outside, but they usually don't work as well as the real thing. And that can be very upsetting to the elderly customers that James carries out many installations for. Fake remote controls can have a big impact on people's lives, especially if TV is their social life. I've had customers crying because they've had a fake remote control and it hasn't done what they've wanted them to do. If they're using it to control their telly and turn it off and on, to navigate through all their programs. And if they can't actually do that, and all of a sudden their whole window to the outside world, which is their TV, has become very closed. So it can be quite detrimental to people's well-being, even though it's only a remote control. And the fake remotes aren't just bad for vulnerable customers, they can be bad for business too. Some people may have gone and bought a, a secondary remote control after having an installation done, and they don't believe that the remote control's at fault. And if you're blaming someone that's installed the equipment, it can have a massive impact on people's reputation. James was so concerned about the impact of fake remote controls on his elderly customers and his own reputation that he started a blog to help customers spot the difference. This is a genuine Sky Remote Control, and it works fine. This one is a fake one, and it doesn't work at all. Things to look for on a genuine Sky Remote Control is the writing underneath uh, that clear infrared kind of end of the Sky Remote, and the two little dimples on here are quite large compared to the fake one. And when you open it up, Sky have always got a little emblem with some writing inside to tell you what model it is and then the little sticker box for your TV code when you tune it in. And if you look really deep inside, you've got like a little square cut out here, and inside there's lots of little holes with a little bit of writing in the back. But on a fake one, you don't have all those things. You don't have the writing underneath the infrared bit for a start. Two little kind of grooves on the bottom are a lot smaller. And then the little square, there's no little dimples and there's no writing or anything like that. And then on the back, there's nothing to tell you what revision it is. It does have the code, so this is a really good one. I'm quite impressed with this, apart from not working. But other than that, it is quite a good one. And then also the writing as well, and the colours of the buttons. On the fake one, the yellow button is a completely different yellow, so that's always something to look out for. Another good thing to check is whether it's got the CE mark. The fake one hasn't got anything on it. So you don't know if they're child-friendly, dog-friendly, if the buttons are going to come off. You really don't know what they're made out of at all. Modern remote controls are highly advanced and used for far more than just changing the channel. So, James has some good old-fashioned advice. When you buy it cheap, you pay twice, unfortunately. You might have to fork out for another remote control or even for someone to come out and visit you to see what the fault is.